Take place prior to this meeting starting. What a fantastic night he's had. Can he finish it off in star now? One more race to go, of course. The most important one of the night, the grand final in the SGP2 series. Green lights on, he's made the start. Brilliant stuff from Lampard. Wow, what a start. Miskoviak's there with him in the first corner. Lampard out in front. Miskoviak now being dive bombed by Sadiki. What a move from him. Wow, well, nearly ran in the back of Lampard as well. Brilliant move from him. Sadiki from nowhere through in the second place. But Lampard off the inside, once again out in front. Front. Yeah, Lampard is just loosened those reins now. He's moved out into the dirt. Great opening lap from Swidnicki to get the better of his Here he's we go. coming back at him. He wants more. Oh, oh he's, he's off! off. Swidnicki oh, turns the bike crash. inside out. Jakub Miskoviak he's through the inside. Clear the track. He's not going to clear oh, the track. Oh, red lights are on. What a shame. Oh, Lampard's going to do it all again. Wow, drama in the final here in Torren. Victor Lampard has been so good tonight, and he's just yes, rightly say he's going to have to do it all again. So Nicky there, so forceful earlier on. I couldn't see quite what he managed to do there. He got himself in all sorts of problems going into turn one. He was settled by Miskoviak coming up the inside and just turned the bike yeah. inside out. Back tire, let's go. Yeah, Focus great through. race from Miskoviak. Comes up the inside is plenty of room i really don't understand he just lost traction but his leg went right back got himself in all sorts of problems i look at his leg there yeah I the think, leg went back i Ooh. think i think he thought he was going to be closer than he actually was yeah, he kind of he kind of almost overreacted to it yeah he did but at this point he's still well in control and then he just and that, that 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 right leg up in the air just i, I don't know why he did that i really don't i can't explain it but uh, the end result is that uh, he is out of the final and uh, the white exclusion light on confirms that. So disappointment for Matthias Widnicki. And uh, there's no doubt that uh, it was a stunning ride up until that point. It was a great um, uh, um, battle between uh, Muscoviak and Swidnicki. He uh, did that, that eye-catching move initially into turns three and four, but uh, fair play to Muscoviak. He came back at him hard. Yeah, he did. I think Muscoviak may, be, may well be wishing that he'd taken gate three because his start from gate two was uh, the worst start he's made tonight, I think. Yeah, but he's got a second chance now. Yeah. And uh, Victor Lampart... And uh, for the eighth time tonight, is going to have to make another dynamite start if he wants to win here this evening and force his way into the top three in the world. Um, uh, so, um, uh, for Nicky, good news he's OK. An awkward-looking fall, got out of shape, got a bit untidy. I think sometimes these youngsters, when they take their right foot off the foot peg or they hang off the side of the bike so early in the corner, it can result taking all the weight off the rear tyre yeah. and just the bike then pirouettes around underneath them. That's the only explanation I can make is that uh, he didn't have any weight in the footrest on the right-hand side. And when that left leg went back, he was basically effectively laying on the bike with no control whatsoever. I think that's the problem. Good to see Tony Ricardson here, the six-time former world champion. Of course, he's the ambassador for Discovery Sports Events on the SGP. And um, uh, great to see him back involved in the sport. So um, I'm sure he's enjoyed his evening. As we all have, it's been a terrific uh, night of Speedway. And the SGP2 just um, uh, doubling up with the... Uh, um, uh, it's a great, uh, a great moment for all these young riders. It's looking like Jankovic is certainly going to get a medal. We don't quite know what colour it's going to be yet. We'll bring that to you as soon as possible. As I say, that could well be determined by the result of this final from Libicta Lampart. So uh, Jankovic will be a touch relieved, Chris, because um, when he slipped out of the first semi-final, he must have been... Uh, must have been quite concerned. Yeah, relieved and, and I would suggest over the series disappointed because uh, failing to get off the start line in the opening round in Prague when his cutout came adrift and then making a forceful challenge in Cardiff when he was actually in a winning position has cost him dearly. Yeah, two uh, unfortunate incidents that uh, have uh, denied him the opportunity for challenging for gold, but uh, nonetheless, still a decent campaign. 
It's actually 20 years of age, which I dispute. I'm sorry, but um, that just can't <laughs> be right. to see his birthday. Yeah, it can't be right. But unfortunately, he's, uh, his birthday is actually next month. So um, uh, I don't think we're going to see him back next year in the under-21 series. But uh, I sense that he can hold his own at senior level, and it won't be too long before we're seeing a lot more of Jankovic, certainly representing his country, I think he'll be around for some time. Oh, without question, yeah, he's the leading light coming out of the Czech Republic. Victor Lampard also 21, this is his last uh, Speedway hurrah. Grand Prix 2. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, hurrah, yes. It last hurrah at this level, so I want to make the very best of it, as uh, as it is for Jakub Muscoviak as well, so uh, quite a lot of outgoing under-21 riders here this evening, but for Sierniak it won't be. Uh, he'll be around for a touch longer. So, second time of asking for the final of the night then. Victor Lampard on the inside in red. Jakub Muscoviat out of gate number two in blue. Swidnicki is excluded, so no ride in gate number three. And uh, Matthias Sjeniak will go from gate number four in the yellow helmet colour. He's changed his bike there, just looking at that graphic. He has, in his last couple of outings, swapped to his uh, second bike. Clearly feeling that he needed a bit more grip, possibly away from the start. Here we go then. Will it be Lampart's night or will Jakub Miskoviak deny him or will the new world champion produce something spectacular? Here we go. Tapes up and we're underway. Wow, what a start from Miskoviak. Superb start from him. Made a poor start in the initial staging of the final, but nailed it that time. He hits the front. Lampart, for the first time, is relegated into second place. He now comes through as they complete the first lap. Not too much to choose between all three. Miskoviak out in front. Lampart pushing hard in second place. Yeah, it's going to be hard to attack Miskoviak from here. He weighs absolutely nothing. He's out in front. He can put the bike exactly where he wants, and he's riding exceptionally well. You've got to feel for Victor Lampart. He has been absolutely unbeatable this evening, right until it really, really matters in the grand final here. Indeed it is. With the restaging of the final, this works out for Miskoviak. Made a poor start first time, but Miskoviak, the outgoing world champion, through this last corner, is going to finish with a great ride here. And he wins the night here in Torun. Brilliant ride from him. Lampart will be disappointed. He's had a fabulous night. But when you win six races and you don't win the final, you've got to feel a little bit disappointed. Shinak, well, he's world champion. He doesn't care. He finishes third on the night. And still a really good result for him. What a night of speedway it's been. Brilliant win for Jakub Miskoviak in the final. Classy ride from him. Victor Lampart just missing out there off the inside. Second place. And... Matthias Sierniak back in third and Swidnicki was excluded from the first running. So we saw the real Miskoviak. We haven't seen him in the first two rounds, but he's written brilliantly the longer the night's gone on. Yeah, I just had a feeling um, that he would manage to produce the goods in the final. I was surprised to see him take gate two and it didn't work for him in the first attempt to run the final, but boy did he rock it away in the final. And he was the fastest man on show in his last couple of races. And uh, well, sure clean pair of heels to the opposition in that one fantastic ride yeah hard break for Lampard Miskoviak breaks his heart a little bit there could be costly um, but we'll wait and see exactly the overall standings to see if Lampard picks up a medal could well do though we'll pick up 18 championship points as a consequence of that but um, uh, Sierniak and these three boys of course know each other so very well we'll see it once again yeah, Lampard off the inside has been making cracking starts all night, but uh, Miskoviak, that was lightning away from the start, straight to the inside line. Didn't ride particularly wide all race, just got the bike hooking up. He knew he had the speed in that bike of his. And Sheenag, well, he was just sort of enjoying himself at the back. He knows he's, he's the world champion, but you got to say, Miskoviak's got faster and faster as the night's gone on. Fully deserved a victory, but... As you rightly say, Kelvin, you've got to feel for that man, Victor Lampard. Six wins, misses out in the final. Yeah, tough for him, but delightful. Miskoviak, who's found it tough this year to retain his title. It won't be, but uh, nonetheless, uh, 20 points in the last round. A fine effort from him. And uh, Miskoviak will finish on uh, 38 points. So there's the championship points for this evening's event. 20 points for Miskoviak, Lampard 18. Sierniak 16 in third place, Swidnicki 14, 
And then Vasso on 12. Yeah, it is 12 for Vasso and Kovec. We can possibly crunch some numbers now and see exactly how the overall standings look because that's the all-important result that we really need to focus on now. But um, uh, 28 points for... Miskoviak will go ahead of Lampard, won't he, so? 28 points for Jankovic, plus 11. Nine. He's on 39. And... So here we see the championship then. Sienek out in front on 56. Jankovic just hanging on to second place. Oh, look at that. Miskoviak, what a move from him into third place. Stealing that bronze medal away from Victor Lampard. Heartbreak for Lampard. And Benjamin Basso slipping back into fifth. Kevin Yule Pedersen sixth. Petra Shawpack in seventh. And Swidnicki back in eighth. But crikey, what a turnaround. And uh, that race win there from Miskoviak. Vital. He just under the radar, wasn't he? Started slowly tonight. Didn't look like someone that was going to take the challenge on. But boy, did he finish strong. Yeah. Tough one to take there for Victor Lampard, having had such a strong night, but uh, just coming up short. But um, uh, there's no doubt that um, uh, Muscoviak will be pleased with the middle. No doubt about it. It hasn't been a great series, but uh, he's finished very strongly there and uh, has uh, forced his way into the top three in the world, um, having won last year. So a fine way to finish the uh, series, that's for sure. We'll have uh, two presentations for you now. Of course, we'll have the first three of this event, of course, and then that will be followed by the overall championship standings when the medals will be handed out. Um, your verdict on tonight then, Chris, while we wait for the boys to come forward. Pretty good night of Speedway. It's been a great night of Speedway, and I'm really happy for the, for the young guys because they've had a couple of very tough tracks ahead of this one, but uh, brilliant stuff from Miskoviak tonight. OK, let's get some reaction now down on the centre green uh, with the winner of the night, Jakub Miskoviak. Jakub Miskoviak, uh, Kuba, congratulations. This was amazing winning today and, uh, on the, in the front of the, on the crowd. It must be an amazing feeling. Uh, thank you. This is an uh, amazing feeling. Uh, I am unbelievable and uh, I am very happy and uh, thank you, my fans. Kuba. Uh, the... Victor Lampard, it was, he was un untouchable uh, in, in today's race, in today's evening, uh, and this repeated final. Did you think about it, what was the strategy to beat him? Yes, uh, Victor today is very fast. Uh, final race, uh, I have good card and uh, uh, winning today, and uh, this is amazing and night for me. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations one more time, Kuba, for this amazing winning, uh, some spectacular winning. Thank you, and thank you, my fans and my family. If you want to say, just say something in Polish for the Polish fans. Dziękuję bardzo. Byliście świetni. Dziękuję za świetny dobing. Dziękuję. Thank you very much.